modifying your chart to display both RTH sessions and ETH sessions on the same chart without having to have a bunch of different ones. So in order to make this work, first off, we need to right click on the chart and go into the data series. Now this is for NinjaTrader 8, uh, but what we need to do is have two different markets, but the same market, right? So we'll put the YM on here twice. So you'll notice in my applied instruments field, I've got the YM0321 two times and they're both a five minute chart. This is where we can do some really cool stuff. So if I just apply this right out of the gates, it's just going to be your standard whatever chart. There's not really much to it. It's slightly different colors, but whatever. Uh, now, if I click on this, you'll notice when you click on it successfully, you've got these little dots on there. That's how you know you've done it correctly. And you can drag and drop that onto the top panel. And now they're stacked together. Now, the cool thing here is that we can modify the colors on both of the different ones to display different things. So if we go over here and let me make this just a touch smaller, it doesn't have to be that big. Uh, we can go over and we can modify the, let's take this first one and we're going to set this to the default CME RTH. And then we're going to set the other one to the CME ETH. And then we'll hit OK. Now, visually, you'll immediately see what's happened. This is the really cool thing that you'll be able to do with this is you'll be able to see all of these different types of candle colors and they're all highlighting different time periods. So the brighter shaded colored candles, those are coming in at 930. This is the RTH open and then going until the RTH close and the colors that are a little bit darker that's the overnight session. That's after the RTH close during the ETH session until the ETH session open. Now you can make these a lot more uh, obvious in terms of highlighting them. Uh, so as an example, we know that the RTH session is this brighter one and that's totally fine. That doesn't really bother me. But if we wanted to maybe highlight the ETH session a little bit more, you would select the second data series here so that it's highlighted and then you can adjust the colors on that one. So for this one, we can maybe make it a little bit brighter so that you know down candles are uh, let's, let's go overnight colors I don't know we can have some fun with this one uh, we can go dark orange and for up bars we'll go like a, a mint cream sure uh, it's very very obvious that there's a differentiation now right and that's the cool thing about this because I can see all right well this trend line is coming from the ETH session which operated very very nicely but we also have a situation where if I wanted to create a trend line off of the RTH I know that I I can't really do that. The only RTH swings I have available to me are these ones. So that offers up a different perspective on the exact same market. It's a really cool way to modify your chart to see the same thing, but all in one chart instead of having, you know, having a bunch of different ones for RTH and ETH and all this other stuff. For me personally, when I'm looking at it, I like to differentiate them a lot more. So I like to brighten up the colors of the candles during RTH and kind of gray out the candles in the ETH so that I can see the difference. Even when I zoom way out, it's very obvious where the differences are. Uh, but it's just a really cool way to visualize what's going on in both the ETH and the RTH. And I wanted to take a little bit of time to share it with you guys because I thought it was really cool. And it was something we discovered in the, uh, in the live room not too long ago with a couple members while we were going through some charts. Really, really cool feature of Ninja Trader that you can do here. But hopefully you found it useful, interesting, and maybe something that has solved a problem, a long, a long lasting problem that you've had. Uh, and you know, if not, it's, it's a cool feature that we can at least applaud Ninja Trader for adding in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to do it as per the usual. Like we always say, stay safe out there. Keep those stops in play and let the winners run. Until the next one, we'll see you all then. Thanks.